I'm telling y'all, if you got PUA before, you better be filing every weekly certification since September the 6th all the way to 2021. Don't give up on them because I promise you, in life, you got to stay two to three steps ahead of shit. And if you stay two or three steps ahead of shit, then you won't be late to the party. You dig what I'm saying? You won't be late to the party. Who didn't get that unemployment the first go around? The people that was late to the party. Y'all let millions of people get it first, and you was late to the party. So I'm telling everybody, that PUA, that DUA, that FPCEU, all of that good shit, that shit is coming back. How do I know? Let me tell you how do I know. Listen, you guys. Why did they bring it for freelance workers, for uh, people that work uh, self-employed and all of that? Why did they bring that the first time around? Because of COVID. Because of COVID was at its all-time high. It just had dropped people to know what to do or how to do it, right? Right? I'm telling y'all now from experience, everybody I know have COVID. And everybody that I know have went back to work. And they said that their workplace is empty because everybody out for COVID. I went to work today. My workplace was empty because everybody out due to the virus. So if everybody I know out due to the virus, everybody that they know out due to the virus, the virus is all times high. And they even talking about a new virus coming around. So let me tell y'all the sad truth about the PUA and the DUA and all of that shit. The first time the world was in a shock, a shock, my bad. So they didn't know what to do. So they were pretty much just giving out unemployment from the government to anybody. Millions of people applied, hundreds of thousands of people and million people got them. Some people didn't. They said a lot of fraudulent shit went on. A lot of fraud went on. So they not just gonna just start giving out unemployment and pick up where they left off because they know for a fact they're going to be giving it out to people that don't deserve it. They're going to be repaying people that did fraud and they can't go back. So what they're going to do this time, I guarantee you, they're going to make people really show real, real documentation. And instead of rushing through it, they're going to be taking their time slowly evaluating every application now. You feel me? And out of millions of applications, you still can't look at every little fucking detail, but they're going to do it a little bit better. Think about it. If it's 300 employees that work for the unemployment office in your state and they got 100,000 applications on their desk, they're going to keep sending them through, keep sending them through, keep sending them through. As long as you got something, just keep sending them through. Now that they know there's a lot of fraudulent shit going on, they're not just going to keep sending it through, sending it through, sending it through. They're going to make people really show real documentation. So what I'm telling you guys if you're not filing your weekly certification every week, then you should. Don't be no fool. If you ain't got your EIN, your DUNS number, your LLC, your sole proprietor, whatever it takes to get or to look as if or to have your own business, then you're crazy because I'm telling y'all right now. And y'all going to revert back to this video and say, oh my God, he told us. Wow, he really told us. Why y'all think... These people like Andrew Cartwright, Steve Ram, all these people that solely base their channel on stimulus checks and, 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 and PUA and unemployment. The reason why they keep putting up PUA, DUA, this and that, because I'm telling you, the virus is stronger than ever and people are really out of work. Let's say fuck the fraud. People really that work for themselves is out of work now. People that actually work is out of work. So people filing that work and don't work. You understand? And most of the time, if you don't qualify for UI, regular unemployment, then if they got any type of government thing going on, like PUA, DUA, anything like that, then they will most definitely sign you up for that automatically, seem as, as if. So forgive me for not editing these videos. Forgive me for fumbling my words. But I want y'all to soak in the game. So the summary is this, you guys. If you ain't been filing your weekly certifications, make sure you do that and take a screenshot and keep them. 
They ended PUA September the 6th, 2021. Y'all should have been filing ever since that day and every Sunday, every week since then and kept your proof because I'm pretty sure people may get back pay. Now, won't you be mad if they pay every, let's say they had a $600 boost and they paid you for being out of work 12 weeks, 18 weeks. Plus 600 each week. Man, you be sitting on $10,000, man. Who don't need that money? Now, where they going to fuck up at, you got to think a way they think. If they give everybody all this money, then a lot of people going to quit their job. They even start offering money for people to go to work or to go get a job, which I doubt people are really getting no sign-on bonus unless you was on their ass. But I'm just here just to tell y'all because I stay two steps ahead of the game. I'm a hustler. I start saying to myself, mm, they let her back to work early because they needed her. They let him back to work early because they needed him. I'm hearing conversations. Everybody that's around me talking about it's COVID all in their house, their girl or their man or whatever they got. Um, out with COVID, their mama got COVID, their supervisor got COVID, and all I hear is the virus, the virus, the virus, the virus. And it's at its all-time high right now, you guys. So think about it. They're going to have to do something. Why? We're supposed to be the greatest nation, the greatest country in the world. We're not a third-world country. The USA got to look out for the USA. So come on, United States. People been in need for this money. And then if y'all cut it off in September, people had to go November and find their own money. December had to go through Christmas. Now it's tax return time. Y'all going to have to start giving out some money. Because a lot of these moms ain't even getting the tax child credit and getting all that money back. For damn their kids and they dependent because they was getting them $500 checks each week. So people going to be struggling out here. Y'all can't let people go through this year fucked up. Now, if I'm not mistaken, in 2021, it started in March, late March, when they started giving out money. You know what I'm saying? And it lasted to September the 6th. I never forget that day. It lasted that long. So I'm telling y'all, before March, it's going to be like the year repeated over. People are going to start getting $10,000. I predict this. I predict this, man. I know for a fact. I wish I had an inside scoop with somebody that worked for the unemployment office. Because I promise you, y'all, it's coming back. But see, this is the thing. I think it was 2.9 million or maybe 3 million people that filed for unemployment. Do you want to be in the first stack of the million? Or the last stack. Because once the funds are exhausted and it ain't no more money out there, then what then what the fuck you gonna do? So get up on the train early. And if you ain't applied, what are you doing if you ain't applied? At the beginning, the world was in an uproar, so they just start giving out government relief, pandemic, disaster relief. Uh, E-I-D-L, uh, they start giving out um, grants and, and, and loans and to small businesses. And believe me, it all worked together. Once they start giving out the stimulants and they start giving out unemployment, federal unemployment again. And believe me, the small business loans and grants and the E-I-D-L, all that good stuff coming back, you guys. This time, just don't blow your money. This time, know what you're doing with it. Don't get caught up doing PPP loans. Do it correctly. If you couldn't do it in 2021, you got to be a fool not to got your shit together by now. What do y'all think? COVID, and let me tell you how it keeps spreading, you guys. They need people to work. They sending that people to work early. People um, hiding that they got COVID. People... Not telling nobody. People going here back and forth to stores and stuff. It's going to keep spreading like wildfire. The only way that this pandemic going to be over 
and everybody that got it quarantined for 10 days. And that's impossible. It's so many hard-headed, don't give a fuck people out here. That's why the cemetery full, the prison yards full, the jailhouse is full. Because people don't listen to rules. They not. They not. And they ain't going to listen to rules. They don't give a fuck. So sorry I made this video so long. I'm just trying to give y'all some game. You know what I'm saying? And y'all make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. And drop below if you know any inside info. Or drop below if you think that I'm right. Drop below if you think that I'm wrong. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. It ain't just about my opinion. I could be right. I could be wrong. But I'm pretty sure I'm right. Because it's common sense. If you see somebody steady blocking a shot. Everybody keeps shooting. They keep steady blocking a shot. It won't be long before they miss one. It won't be long before some, they get dunked on. It, it, I mean, it's just common sense. If you see somebody steady driving their car 150 miles per hour going over the highway, going in, out of traffic, it won't be long before they wreck. It won't be. If you see a person steady selling dope, it won't be long before they get caught. So if you see coronavirus steady going up and people steady getting out of work, people steady needing help, it won't be too long for help come. That's how life works. But I got a lot of shit to do. I would love to sit here and keep rambling with y'all, but I got a lot of shit to do. So I holler.